Hi everyone, so selamat datang in our third sharing session. Hari ini kita akan ngobrolin the importance of understanding your emotions. Um, Oke, okay, live story-nya definitely akan disimpan. Um, akan kita post di YouTube juga. Jadi nanti kita akan post um, di IGTV kita juga. But just to give you guys a little bit of background, sharing session adalah live series baru seribu tujuan di mana kami mengundang beberapa teman kami untuk berbagi uh, pengalaman mereka dengan uh, mencari bantuan tentang kesehatan mental. Jadi tujuannya adalah untuk menunjukkan bahwa perjalanan kesehatan mental orang tuh bervariasi. Um, Oke, okay. aku langsung aja uh, invite our guest today. It is one of my good friends, Nezia. So I'm just going to... Ooh, okay. All right. Hi. Hi, girl. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you so much. You def- spare your time to, you know, chat with us. <laughs> Anytime. Uh, okay. So, Nezia, why don't you just give a little bit of introduction about yourself? Um, so, my name is Nezia. Um, um, I'm 23 years old, um, <laughs> currently studying medicine in Melbourne, um, and obviously I'm Indonesian, um, jadi aku dari Palembang, dan pindah ke Aussie sekitar 5 years ago for uni. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, yeah. I met Nez ya, kayak kita ketemu di 2016 ya coy, di Melbourne, yes. we were like little uh-huh. baby first years. Like, Dan kayak <laughs> fresh out of high school, so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> And kayak I am, I I just want to say this because I remember when we first met. I remember it so much. Kayak you said you wanted to be like you wanted to do medicine. You wanted to be a doctor. And kayak I'm legit so proud of you that you're doing oh, it your second you. year. And I'm just like, girl, going chasing your dreams. And oh, yeah. when you like, <laughs> when you reached out, gitu, kayak, when you were like, Jen, oh my gosh, like mental health is so important. And I want to like, you know, uh, it's so important to bring this to Indonesia as well. I was like, God yeah. damn, like Nezia, girl, you're my inspiration. <laughs> no, you are. Yeah. No. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so today we're going to talk about the importance of understanding your emotions. So it's like, Mostly about kayak your perjalanan kesehatan mental, how you, you know, found the balance of like how you maintain your mental health. And also just like the difference between kayak mental health di Australia dan di Indonesia. So maybe we could start off with like, could you give us a little bit of like um, story about your own story, your mental health journey? Yeah. Well, kayak my mental health journey that actually started in Australia. So mm-hmm. I probably can't tell you guys, everyone who's watching, um, how you can get help from Indo. Jen probably know it better <laughs> and, and can like fill they in, fill that gap of knowledge for them. Um, but my journey, my mental health j- journey started when I was, um, first or second year in um, Melbourne Uni. Mm-hmm. So I was actually kaya, studying for GAMSAT and um, it was it was the, the first time where I just, kaya, I, I, I realized that there's something wrong with me because mm-hmm. um, I, I don't know much about, you know, what depression is and what anxiety is. Um, And I know that I have been, you know, feeling sad. And I've, I know I, I know that I have been through, like, shit things, you know? Yeah. Um, and at that point, I'm like, maybe I'm not just sad. Because, like, I know how sad feel like. But it didn't feel like you just, you just sad. Like, mm-hmm. I, I, at that point, Um, I couldn't even do anything. Kaya, yeah. I tried to study for GAMSAT. It's like the 
big exam if you want to go to medicine. Mm-hmm. And then I went to the library, try to study, and I can't. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I have to like change, um, get my environment a little bit. Get, mungkin um, gue kayak um, tired of library, whatever. So I went to, I started going to cafe to like study. And then I open up my MacBook and I open up my book. And then I just kind of stare out of the window and like, my eyes just started tearing up and I'm like, yeah. what is wrong with me? And then like at that point, I didn't, I, I didn't know what was wrong with me. And then I started looking for things that I think can, you know, help with that. And then I, mm-hmm. I, I, I was looking at, you know, getting tattoo. Maybe I need to like, <laughs> you know, get, get tattoo and like get, get over yeah. this um, face of my life. And then, um, but like nothing really helped yeah and in melbourne especially melbourne uni there there are a lot of um help that the uni offers can mm-hmm. get a lot of our lecturers um or um tutors can always remind us that you know okay, there's this con- counseling services that it's yeah. available for you guys terus kayak aku kayak oh Okay, why not? It's free. Mm-hmm. Um, I yeah. just kind of do it before class or after class. So I booked that in. And then, um, mereka kasih kayak questionnaire gitu kan dari the iPad. It's like questions about, you know, how have you been feeling lately? Yeah. Um, and then I, okay, so I did that. And then I saw um, a, I think she was a, um, psychologist a clinical mm-hmm. psychologist and then for the first time i in my life i was like diagnosed um to have um uh, a moderate to severe depression mm-hmm. and then i'm like okay yeah so like and then i started therapy and then yeah it got better and then it got worse again mm-hmm. and then um i went to my gp and then i'm like it it started to um affect my study yeah and i yeah at first kayak aku enggak mau kayak minum obat in antidepressants yeah. i still think that you know i can just work work mm-hmm. it out myself and then go to therapy blah blah blah, blah. But at that point, it really affect my study. Yeah. And it's like, a, it's not something that I could take lightly. Yeah. Because I have worked so hard to yes. you know, get to medicine. And then I finally there and I just like, okay, the, the thought of this depression thing going to make me, you know, fail my dream. Yeah. I just can't let it. Yeah, and then okay, after talking to my doctor, and then he explained to me what antidepressant is, mm-hmm. and, you know, it might help. Blah blah blah. I decided to um, get on it, mm-hmm. and then and then I, I honestly, it's it's the best decision I've ever made. Mm-hmm. It helps yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So well, okay, so, so yeah, definitely you hit so many important points. I just wanted to say, Kat, you know, it's so brave of you to be like sharing your story. Um, hopefully, ini kayak bermanfaat for the people listening. And, yes. you know, it's okay to not feel okay and to seek help. Ya, kan? And kayak, um, you mentioned that like, you were pushed to seek help because it started impacting your study then it started impacting your daily life. And I think that's one of the important things. If it starts impacting your daily lives, that's when you kind of have to take notice um, where to, like, to seek help. Um, yeah. And Tadi, you also mentioned about, you know, you're, you know, taking that step untuk ex, um, kind of like accepting that probably pharmacological treatments can help you. Um, mm-hmm. You mentioned that you were a bit doubtful juga. And I think everyone yeah. goes through that juga. Kayak, yeah. you know, sometimes we 
you know, I think like in medicine juga gitu ya, Nes, kayak we try our best if bisa tanpa pharmacological because, um, you know, there's the side effects and all these things. Tapi yeah. it's okay if you need that boost um, if therapy exactly. is not in it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to like ask lagi, can you explain more of what was what were you feeling when you got that diagnosis? Karena kayak it must be, was it a shock atau kayak, was it like, grateful that now you can put something on it you know like and then try to work to get better yeah um it wasn't it wasn't a shock because like i mm-hmm. know that you know like in the back of my mind it's probably depression mm-hmm. um it's kind of a relief to it yeah because like at least kayak being um kayak validated by a professional yeah. saying that you know kayak you you're sick like yeah you you not you not like crazy cuz i genuinely yeah. was like think that i was thinking that like something is wrong with me it's mm-hmm. it's the same as um like getting up getting flu yeah kan yeah yeah and also like depression is like it's 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 a chronic illness it's mm-hmm. it's 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 very different to being sad Mm-hmm. Um yeah. And yeah, I think it's 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 a relief and it's like I felt proud of myself to, you know, mm-hmm. kind of taking the step to go see a professional. Yeah. Like allowing people to help me. Um Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just, yeah. It's just, go on, sorry, need, I just cut you off. No, it's fine. <laughs> you need to like you need you need to take control and you need mm-hmm. to know um like enough is enough and like i'm yeah. not you know like i'm i'm not tolerating this anymore and yeah. what i really wanted to say is that kaya, for anyone who's watching and been struggling with like depression or other mental you know health issues you you don't have to feel that way Mm-hmm. And for so long, I, I was just scared. no one, no one's telling me that I, I did not have to feel that way. Yeah, it's like it's a, to to some extent I was like self blaming, self pitying. I'm like, oh, it's just like the stuff that I've been through. Maybe I just like it's a, it. I I deserve to feel sad. It's okay to feel sad. And I just I realized that if you don't want to feel sad, you don't have to feel mm-hmm. sad. Like, if you don't want to be depressed, you don't have to be depressed. And, yeah. And there, there, there are help out there, you know? And it's like, yeah. it's, like, it's okay to, to ask for help. And, okay, you, you, you get common flu and then you go to see a doctor. Mm-hmm. And, like, this is, this is a chronic illness. Okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I agree banget sih. It's kind of yeah. like I you said the flu, tapi I usually relate it to kayak diabetes. Kind of like, you know, people can like it's like chronic and kayak you can change your lifestyle and of course it helps. Tapi it's okay to seek like medication. It's okay to seek help. And you yeah. know, people don't put that much of a stigma to like diabetes as much as like mental health. Yeah. Um In your journey, when you kayak ketemu psikolog gitu ya, or like a clinical psychologist, mm. what was like your first, like, what were you feeling in that first session? Karena kan it must, it, I don't know, I find it kind of hard to kind of open up. So what, you know, especially like in the Indonesian culture, it's kind of hard mm. untuk kita open up. What were you like going through your mind when you were just like meeting, having your first therapy session? Mm. I just, it, it... Honestly, it felt so good, get yeah. so good, cause like it's not it's not like talking to your friend or like your family. Yeah, you know that this person, she doesn't know you, she or he doesn't know you. Mm-hmm. She has nothing to do with you, mm-hmm. other than like wanting to help you to treat you, and mm-hmm. you know that they're a professional, like they've been trained for years, you know, to yeah. to talk to someone to like help someone. Yeah, and like knowing that kind of like com- comfort me a little bit mm-hmm. and I just get I I didn't have the feeling that I didn't find it hard to kind of open up 
but I find it hard to to put it to put it into words. Mm, okay. If that makes sense, because like yeah. all all these years, it's it's in my head. It's you know yeah. I never I never I don't write it down. I don't talk to people. So like putting my feelings and my experiences and how it made me feel into words was yeah. Hard. Okay, so just like expressing yourself, itu emang kayak it's quite like that. It is own just being able to express yourself. Itu udah kayak perjalanan on its own, ya. Um, but aside from that, you did mention kayak people underestimate the power of kayak sharing or just having someone listen. And you mentioned juga this psychologist, this person who's helping us, kayak mereka tuh nggak nggak tahu mungkin kayak they're not in like our personal life they probably they can't use that as like I don't know gossip material or something like yeah. they don't they're literally just there to really help you then I think finding that comfort in something like that tuh emang it could be what every like some of you yang listening are looking for um, how are you doing now by the way with like you know the whole lockdown and everything how's everything going I'm doing good. Kaya, I honestly okay. been really enjoying kaya, time at home. So yeah, yeah. I'm 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 a re- I'm a I'm a home person. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> so like I've been enjoying it a lot. And then I have my little puppy. I know. And... I w- I knew you were gonna say that. I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> I'm honestly so attached. Um, yeah, because I have my housemates as well. So, mm-hmm. jadi kayak nggak nggak terlalu lonely di rumah sendiri yeah. ya. But I could imagine a lot of people who's like living by themselves would find mm-hmm. it hard, and um, it would might it might trigger kayak you know some, some yeah some feelings and all like episodes. But yeah, yeah. So reg- like outside the COVID nineteen, guess sekarang how do you uh maintain your mental health like what do you do to maintain your mental health um so I, as i said before i'm still an ssri mm-hmm. um and i feel like it's 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 really um helpful to like bring you to the baseline level mm-hmm. so that you can break on yourself yeah. you know you know, you know you know what helps you you know what you what what's bad for your mental health so like so what I've been doing is um, I'm trying to exercise every day mm-hmm. yeah I actually started running again okay I that's great running, okay? yeah <laughs> so, <laughs> my, my goal is to run 10k Awesome. I'm still on like four, four k. Yeah, yeah. But um, been doing like yoga mm-hmm. and um, cook. Um, yeah. Watch, watch or like listen to um, um, motivating podcasts. Yeah. Or, yeah, that's that's so- what. Help. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I think like you mentioned a lot that tadi jadi kayak definitely exercise is beneficial, mm-hmm. girl. If we're yeah. gonna go run our marathon after this whole COVID nineteen thing, should we do that? We should totally. Yeah, why not? We gotta come to Melbourne first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get the whole seribu tujuan team going. You know, kayak yeah. by you if you're listening. You know, we're <laughs> gonna get hey, Indigo. It's your out you there. You know, you're away. listening. <laughs> Tapi aside from that, you mentioned kayak keeping yourself busy and definitely kayak um, making sure having that support system juga ya. You have like your roommates and stuff like that. Um, yeah. But again, okay, back to the SSRIs medication. So you mentioned you were pretty doubtful about it at the start. Karena kayak, um, and then once you listen to like your doctor explain what it does and helps you, what like aside from the fact that ada, you know, positive impact, towards your depression, what, like, made you actually want to take it? So, I am kaya, um, maybe your doctor, atau kaya, maybe you were just, like, trying it out, atau kaya... Um, so, it was, I think, it was three years. Mm-hmm. And so, I started taking medication about two to, two or three years after being diagnosed 
um, to have yeah. severe depression. Mm-hmm. And then I was doubtful because at start, I don't really see it as a physical illness. Yeah, It's really easy to not see mental illness as a physical illness. It yeah. is not physical, it's mental, but it's still... Um, it's still something so tangible. Mm-hmm. And kaya, I I did my own research and then I found out that, I don't know if you know, but I found this really interesting. They found, In the UK, they found that people who has depression for at least five months, the hippocampus of their brain mm-hmm. shrink. Yeah. 75%. Kaya, that's... That's crazy. Okay? Mm-hmm. This condition, depre- like depressive, this what's I don't know what it actually called, like something depressive disorder. It actually makes your freaking brain smaller, mm-hmm. and it's just like a, it's crazy how some people don't see it as yeah as physical, yeah right. But I think at that time what made me decide to take it to go to the pharmacological route is I I couldn't help it like mm-hmm. I, I um, there was like a night where I could I just I could not help myself like I, yeah. I, I was exercising I was like hanging out with friends but I go back to my room at the end of the night and I would I would just like not even at night after class I would go into my room and like curled up in a corner corner feeling so small feeling so helpless mm-hmm. and I was just like yeah. crying yeah and then I'm like I can't keep doing this yeah and then I'm like you know what if it's if it's if it's a medication that that's gonna help me that's gonna help me break through things i i would i would take it yeah what 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 does a medication mean okay you take medication for everything you know and yeah um, there's there there are side effects but it it doesn't happen to everyone Mm -hmm. and there are also several different kind of medication that are available Mm -hmm. for depression there's there's ssri there's snri there's um t something don't know not a doctor yeah (laughs) Um, (laughs) but yeah yeah for sure i think you mentioned that you know side effects like that's one of the biggest things that people wouldn't try ssris karena kayak for sure like the side effects can get a bit hard but as you mentioned kayak you know, there's so many other options. Jadi, definitely, kayak if one doesn't work, there's a lot of, you know, you could try a different one atau kayak bisa dikombine sama yang lain, gitu-gitu ya. Yeah. Um, for sure, we're both not yet doctors, jadi definitely talk to a professional. <laughs> yeah. Don't take our advice for it. But, um, yeah, it's like, did you have to do that? Did you have to, like, change medications atau kayak, have a combination of it or like were you dealing yeah no i am um one of those lucky people who yeah. have not experienced any side effect at all okay um, <laughs> i i was having trouble falling asleep mm-hmm. and then jadi um we change um the rather than take it in the morning i take it at night just before okay. sleep yeah. yeah so it doesn't really like um affect my sleep as much like the serotonin um yeah rush so that that worked and i've been i've been um yeah doing that ever since no problem that's so great to hear because yeah, i do know a lot of people find it really hard to find yang kayak cocok buat mereka gitu ya and kayak, as you mentioned um definitely like t- changing the times of days gitu it's like dependent on the person okay you know like the doctor or like the psychiatrist would usually tailor it to your own yeah. how your body reacts to the medication mm-hmm. um and tadi you mentioned juga with the medication like it brings you to the baseline you know i exactly. think one thing that people forget to kaya i remember kayak exercise helps like you wake up and you exercise and stuff like that but some people still struggle as well untuk kaya 
gimana ya kayak untuk bangun aja tuh susah jadi kayak they need that medication untuk bangun untuk exercise jadi kayak I feel you shouldn't be embarrassed to take medication if you need it and um, yeah same like what Nezia mentioned kayak there's if like everything else you're doing doesn't work and medication is the only thing you haven't tried I'm so sorry ada the sirens behind me <laughs> but <laughs> but kayak I mean Um, where was I? If medication is the only thing you haven't tried, it's so. Uh, apa namanya? What do you have to lose in a way? Gitu ya. Like you definitely yeah, get. It's such a good um, option. All right, we're nearing this last part of the section of this little chat. Um, perbedaan mencari bantuan di Australia dan Indonesia. So I did put this in um, because you know the difference between finding kayak kesehatan mental di Australia dan kesehatan mental di Indonesia tuh sedikit beda. Ini bukan kayak mau pamer like what we have here in Australia, but it's really just to like for the people listening. Ini kayak cuman really to let you guys know kayak the standard seribu tujuan put ourselves against and where we're aiming because um, we do want to see that change. Uh, of mental health in Indonesia. I guess like the first question, what is like the biggest stigma or misunderstanding surrounding mental health? Apalagi yang di Indonesia that you want to change? That I want to change? I feel, first of all, I really want to change um, how we don't have such a thing as confidentiality in Indonesia. Mm, oh my God, I'm so glad you brought that up. <laughs> it, 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 yeah. I just, I, it shook me because Yeah, there's this person, but I'm I'm not gonna say who who that is. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. But um, she was struggling with her mental health, mm-hmm. and then I can say that she she's from my hometown. Jadi yeah. dia dari Palembang. Dan um, kalau misalnya teman-teman nggak tahu Palembang itu kayak lebih kecil dari Jakarta kan. Mm. And then kayak everyone know everyone. Blah 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 blah. And then so she didn't want to. Um, to go to like a psychiatrist or psychologist because she thinks that if she goes there people are gonna like some people are gonna recognize her and then yeah. you know it's just gonna go go around blah 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 and because of that she doesn't wanna you know Seek like help. get help yeah and i think it has to kind of it has to start from us okay it, it mm-hmm. has to um get yeah, yeah start from you and me And like bring it bring it to the conversation when you hang out with your friends and like correct them if they have um kaya wrong perspective on mental health yeah um, yeah because yeah. i think yeah um i just i see mental health as like a disease of lifestyle mm, okay it's um Yeah, and like the only, not the only, but one of, um, the one of the many ways to combat that is to like you know get together, you know build a community, a, a healthy community yeah. that supports each other, um, and yeah, like the only thing that you and me can do is just like start with yourself, like yeah, be more open minded, yeah, yeah, be For more sure. um, get. Em- em- empathic, you know. And yeah. It's yeah. It's just it's frustrating, and like depression is not a sadness. It's it's different. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm just like too passionate over the whole thing. <laughs> oh no! But I'm so back, glad. Going yeah, back to yeah. your going back to your um questions about the difference. Yeah. So confidentiality and um, what else? What do you think, Jen? I think kayak, I don't know, apa ya, maybe like just how supportive the environment is here. I don't know, because it's like always, kayak, as you mentioned, the uni, every it's promoted and kayak, you know, it's normalized in a way. Jadi kayak kalau kita kayak mau bilang kayak, oh, I'm meeting my psychologist, orang tuh gak kayak langsung bisik-bisik atau langsung kayak, you know, kayak langsung ngomongin kayak, oh my gosh, she's crazy, gitu kan. Enggak, kayak, it's like, they're like supportive of it. Kayak, yeah, yeah, definitely get help. Like, it's like a normal thing. And so... For sure, that like, you know, as you mentioned, kayak a supportive environment can change um, mm. whether people will seek help, atau kayak 
whether it's a supportive environment. Tapi I also mm-hmm. like yang you mentioned confidentiality because people don't usually talk about that. Karena kayak although ada lawnya ya, ada lawnya kayak um, you know there's like the psychologist law where you you know it's like between client and psychologist. Cuman I guess like that's the thing. Kayak you know it's not probably not heavily practiced in a sense kayak mm-hmm. mungkin ada orang yang moto kali di kliniknya mm-hmm. terus kayak disebar gitu-gitu kayak jadi kayak i guess respecting that that respecting confidentiality yeah. um and there's there's also kind of nurses kan nurses mm, administrator mm-hmm. um people who you know receive your appointment and know that you're coming so it's not just the yeah. psych- psychologist or like the doctor yeah I'm, i'm sure that they know about confidentiality but it's yeah. just like it's um it's it's the community it's like yeah everyone community um yeah just yeah. like understanding like respect i think it itu harus rootednya tuh dari kayak respect gitu ya kayak mm-hmm. you have to respect each other respect each other's confidentiality and, and be understanding kind. Be kind yeah like we are all struggling yeah I feel like everyone would be so surprised by how many people are actually struggling with their mental health Yeah. You'll be surprised. Yeah. Um, so like, yeah. Like yeah, and, I agree. About we're, the... we're people. Like we struggle. We hurt. You know. And um, yeah, we would love some. I don't know. Not not even help from people. Just like, just understanding. Yeah. And like being 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 valued for your emotion. Being valued for feel for feeling things. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's it's a blessing, you know, okay? Not all creatures can have feelings and it also it it gives you different perspective on life. Yeah. To go really deep. <laughs> But, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, for sure, okay? as you mentioned, we don't know what other people are going through. Orang yang mungkin, you know, happy in class atau di tutorial gitu kan kayak we don't know behind it like whether they're going through something, you know, everyone is probably going through something in general. Jadi kayak, just be kind, you know, like we don't know what anyone is going through. And um, as you mentioned, you know, have a kindness, basically. Yeah. yeah. I guess, what other, um, what's it called? I wanted to ask, like, what other things in Australia yang mungkin you experience, like in general, aja, kayak, that, made your experience with like seeking help atau kayak growing medication yang really helped you? Um, other than um, I think being support supported too mm-hmm. kayak, you know supported by friends kayak yeah. when, when, you, when I you know tell my friend that you know I'm going to a psychologist I'm going to a therapy they're like oh good on you kayak Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, being praised for seeking help. Yeah, that's like quite the opposite of what we have in Indo. Being yes. <laughs> um, yeah, and like I feel like um, like this is me coming from um, like more fortunate people who can afford therapy, mm-hmm. and you know, I know that not many people in Indo can you know go see go see a doctor when they're really sick let alone let alone when they have you know like mental health that there's s- still so ta- taboo in Indo kan so yeah yeah like I wish I, like I could help in that aspect but like unfortunately maybe in the future yeah but, for sure yeah. maybe in the future yeah, yeah. but um <laughs> Yeah, I think start just just start to just start by being kind to each other and like mm-hmm. talk to your friends, ask your friend how they're going and like um if you don't know what to say to them, just listen. You know, mm-hmm. okay, listen and yeah. try to understand because like yeah, like you might you might be in that place some other time and you 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 realize how how much it means to you know have yeah. friends try try yeah. to understand they don't even have to understand you like as long as they try and there's no judgment yeah. it, 
it's just yeah. let them know that you're there to support them and like you know you're you'll always be there to like listen i think that's mm-hmm. one that way you can help your friends um yeah. okay we're nearing the end the last question nezia apa what are your future hopes for like mental health in indonesia um i just hmm okay i hope that the will be an improvement on um like access to help mm-hmm. you know access to healthcare and i hope that you know maybe one day we can have a better kaya healthcare system in indo kaya di australia kan ada kaya medicare and then yeah. they don't even have to pay to you know mm-hmm. go to see doctor um so i hope you know there's a way for us to go closer to that yeah i think the benefit um like greater more people in general mm-hmm. yeah and um yeah i just hope that you know like there's better awareness and um people are more motivated to look after themselves to look after their mental health either by you know looking like seeking help from from, from professional or just like read some self help book that's that's where mm-hmm. i actually started okay i was <laughs> so okay, hopeless i'm just like okay, ordering self help help book from amazon and like reading it in the corner and making sure that no one's i'm uh, looking at me i'm like um, girl don't worry know? the only books i yeah. read is self help like it truly like self help books are actually pretty helpful then yeah mm. and like that's just yeah um, go to youtube watch some ted talk yeah um oh have you watched um michael michael jordan's thingy is it in netflix oh, oh yeah, gosh i so i have it in good. my watch list okay i'll i'll it's go so watch good. it right after start. <laughs> yeah you you like it. okay I, I, was, right. i was so motivated after i watched it like, okay oh i'll God. go watch it after this <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay yeah for sure so definitely hope like back to the question <laughs> you know hopefully more access to healthcare more awareness and just you know look after your own mental health look up be kind to other people and yeah that's the importance of you know understanding your own emotions as well as just the importance of mental health in general okay mm-hmm. well that You know, we reached the end of the chat. Thank you so much, Ooh, Nezia. Udah ikut. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. I do say this all the time. It's like, so it's I I really apa namanya? I admire those who can share their story. Karena kayak those are like the bravest people because you know it's not easy to do it. You know, mm-hmm. you don't. Yeah, and so I think the strongest people are those who are able to be vulnerable. So thank you so much. For no, sharing your you. story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, buat teman-teman yang come and join us. Um, if you guys want to know more about mental health, bisa langsung aja ke seribu tujuan dot id. Um, www dot seribu tujuan dot id. Um, and if you guys need to, kalau mau tahu di mana mencari bantuan di Indonesia, bisa langsung ke seribu tujuan dot id slash mencari bantuan. Um, atau bisa langsung aja ke highlights kami. Okay, well that's all for this sharing session. Um, do you have any closing statements you wanna say, Nes? Atau yes. Um, okay. <laughs> if you need anything about mental health, just go to Seribu Tujuan website. There's like, <laughs> oh, I, I I I think I saw someone. commenting on like um about anxiety or like what to do with anxiety oh, okay yeah, the yeah. like there's yeah you guys you guys done a great amazing awesome job by um Thanks, creating for, like <laughs> everyone in in indo okay you, you guys don't even get anything out of it like it's it's so <laughs> pure and genuine it's like <laughs> like come on guys just help yourself go to the okay. website and do your own go business. to the website yes yeah. educate yourself about nanti kalau kal- ada I, i'm so sorry kay i missed the question um that's okay but yeah, yeah. kalau kalian mau tahu tentang anxiety depression bisa langsung ke 1007.id um it's all there ada new search bar 
So type it up there and go search for it. Thank you so much, Nezia. Thank you so much Thank for your you. support. You're oh, I'm so glad um, we got to like be reconnected this year again. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Talk to you soon. I'm just gonna you know end this chat. Well, see you guys. Okay. Yeah. Um, see I'll you soon. You Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>